Hey guys, I'm Greg. Isn't that a beautiful picture? We're up at Bluestone Lake Dam in uh, Hinton, West Virginia. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer should be a treat. This is the collaboration between Stone, Alchemist, and Ninkasi. I guess that's how I said N-I-N-K-A-S-I, Ninkasi. So those three breweries went together and this is their More Brown Than Black IPA. 7.4% alcohol by volume, India Pale Ale is what it's got written on there. Let me see what on the back it says. Alright, I was first exposed to the brewing dark IPA while I was head brewer at the Vermont Pub and Brewery in 96. One day I pulled a recipe from the archives for an IPA named Black Watch, brewed for the holidays. It was a wonderful departure from the expectation of the times. Under the close tutelage of Greg Noonan, we started to refine the complex balance of hops and roast levels. When I was fortunate enough to open the Alchemist in 2003, a modernized version of such a creation was at the top of my list. Following the recent flooding of our pub, I was presented with the opportunity to collaborate on a dark IPA with Stone and Ninkasi. Three great brewing communities coming together in a brew on American Black IPA. I think Greg would be proud of the loyal following this style has gathered. So that's from John Kimmich, the head brewer for the Alchemist, November 2011. Collaboration beer, and all this is silk screened onto the bottle. Uh, Stone is famous for doing that with their beers now, so uh, that's what it's got on the label. Let's get on with it. They're out of Escondido, California. Stone is limited brewed once beer, uh, American Black Ale 7.40. Food pairings for this is none yet because of uh, it's a black IPAs, technically, not a style. But it's going to go with all the same with your IPAs, especially your your more roasty malt beers. Uh, uh, the cheeses for this is going to be your blue sharp cheddar, uh, your more pungent cheeses, gorgonzola, limburger, uh, and the meat for this is going to be your, the game grilled meat, uh, your steaks, chops, your, your more stronger dishes. And being a roasty black IPA, uh, it's, it's going to go more with uh, some of you, it may even go with some of your dessert type beers. Even though it's going to be a hoppy beer, it's going to have some roastiness to this one too. So. Uh, the glassware today is the pint, Becker, Stein, mug. I have the double glass, guys. Uh, you could use an uh, oversized wine glass, a chalice. And the beer is not recommended for extended cellarings, being an, uh, a hop forward beer, black IPA or a black ale. Yeah, I think this should be pretty hop forward, so uh, you probably wouldn't want to send it. And it's probably got something etched on the bottle, I think. Stone does some kind of etchings. And looking at the bottom of it, it looks like it's got some kind of sediment and stuff in the bottom of the bottle there. Not exactly sure, but we're about to find out. I don't think we need to go over anything else, so without further ado, let's get the cap off of this bad boy, get it in the glass, and see what this is all about. The more brown than black. And I have to say that I'm green with that pointed in there. Let's go down the center and see if we can get any head at all. And pouring in there. Not too bad. Just a little bit of remains down in there. Not bad. And over into the light. Well, it's really... When I first started pouring it, it looked like it had some red tinges around the outside of it. But now it's all in the glass. It does look pretty dark. I don't see a whole lot of light going around the edge outside of the glass there. It is pretty dark. It's definitely a dark beer. And... I want it this way. It is definitely not black. It's definitely got a brown color to it. And now that I've got it in there, it does have some red tinges around the bottom of the glass where it's thinner. So we do have some ruby red color going on, but it is uh, it is more brown than black, so the label is correct. The head that uh, was on it is basically uh, dissipated now, and it does look like it's leaving some nice lacing on the glass there when I do that. Let's get a nose on this one. Wow. 
wow. I mean, this is a hot bomb. It's got all kind of hops. Well, that's all I'm getting. I mean, it is just so pungent, piney, grapefruity. Very resonancy for the pine. It's almost like I got a pine cone down inside the glass. Wow, it is so hot forward. You definitely do not want to, uh, to sell this beer or keep it. You want to drink it as soon as you get it. It is super hoppy. I mean, I'm really getting a super amount of hoppiness. Wow, this barely getting some of the malt, but the hot presence is just unbelievable. Wow. I don't know if I've ever smelt a black ale quite this hoppy. I mean, uh, unless it's a black IPA. I mean, this this could definitely pass for a black IPA. So, guys, without further ado, cheers. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow, wow, wow. It seems like they've got 10 pounds of hop per gallon on this. That's probably the the, the biggest hot profile that I've ever smelt in a beer. Wow, that is delicious. That is awesome. That may be one of the best beers I've ever had from Stone. Wow. This is definitely an A beer, guys. I can tell you that already. It may be a 10. We're going to let it warm up. See what this one ends up. I'm, my hair is blown back on this one. Stick around. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. I'm back. Uh, got just a little left here. and That's a bummer, too, because this is pretty damn tasty. This is probably the best black eye. I'm going to call it an IPA. This is <laughs> this kind of black ale. I mean, if I could call this like a black pale ale, it is definitely more in the line of an IPA. I mean, this is... This is definitely like a wet uh, harvest ale, like Southern Hemisphere or Northern Hemisphere, where they take the hops right off the plant and put them right into the brew kettle. So the smell is just spectacular. The taste is spectacular. If you're a hop head, this is the one, guys. Final chug. Wow, that is awesome. Piney, grapefruit. The malt is there. It's a nice malt backbone to that, but it is citrusy. I mean, it's got everything you're wanting. It's definitely, it is definitely the best black ale. And, and as far as that goes, probably the, the best black IPA that I've ever had. So it's a 10. I'm giving it a 10. It is delicious. Uh, I'm probably going to try to pick up some more of this if there's any left when I go back up there. This is awesome, guys. If you see this, you need to pick it up, especially if you're a hophead. This is this is awesome. Rake Beer has 99 overall and 99 in the style. And Beer Advocate even has a 90. They're in the 90s on this one. So that's an exceptional from them. So it's it's delicious, guys. So if you see this, a collaboration between Stone and and uh, Alchemist and, and, and Ninkasi, uh, you need to pick this one up. This is definitely a winner, and I'm going to see if I can pick some more of it up myself. So, with that being said, guys, give me some comments back. As always, rate, comment, subscribe. If you need an opener, give me a shout. Just send out a couple of shirts. The guy told me, yeah, got them both. He's real happy. So, hey, see you all tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. See you then.